The idea of daylight saving time is almost as old as this country, but in recent years, more of us are wondering why do we keep doing this? Denver 7's Connor Wiss goes 360, winding back the clock to explain how the whole thing started in the new movement to lock the clock. It started during World War One. 100 years of history. So we've been stuck with that Uniform Time Act for a long time. Has some saying it's time for a change. So we got to stop blaming the farmers. Nobody likes to have to change the clock. Scott Nobody Yates is the lead organizer for the Lock the Clock movement, a group against the practice of daylight saving time. There's no good reason to do it. Professor Ken Wright at CU Boulder says an extra hour of sleep in the fall has health benefits. When we get this extra hour uh, of sleep opportunity, this is associated with a 5% decrease in the risk of heart attacks come Monday morning. But Professor Wright also says the springtime change can have negative impacts too. When we lose that hour of sleep in the spring, not only do we have a 5% increased risk of heart attacks, but there's an 8% increased risk of strokes and a 17% increased risk of dying at the wheel on the highway. Right now, Florida has a bill aiming to stop daylight saving time. Senator Marco Rubio is trying to run a bill through U.S. Congress, and California has a ballot initiative. Here in Colorado, state leaders brought up bills in the last session to ditch the time changes, but were met with pushback, they say especially from the ski industry. They just didn't like it one way or the other. State Representative Phil Covarrubia says other states nearby are pushing for similar legislation. There's Oklahoma, New Mexico, Wyoming, a lot of these other states are all trying to get rid of it as well. 100 years of history with clock hands pointed in different directions. When will there be a change? Well, only time will tell. In Denver, I'm Connor Wist, Denver 7.